Hi there, Anthony Sequera here. In this micro nugget, we're going to ensure that we can find the standalone C series documentation and perhaps just as importantly, the software updates that we would need for a standalone C series device. Notice I'm emphasizing the word standalone here, aren't I? Yes, we know with the C series rack mount servers from Cisco Systems that we have two options. We can use it in a standalone mode, which means we are going to manage it individually apart from the rest of the ingredients in the UCS system. Or if we're not in standalone, we're going to manage it as part of the umbrella of UCS products. In other words, we'll manage that C series with the UCS manager, just as we would manage the B series chassis, the B series blades, the fabric interconnects, the input output modules. So in this particular nugget, micro nugget, I should say, our emphasis will be on a standalone C series. So where do we find the important documentation? Let's start with documentation first, right? Obviously, it's going to be critical that we possess the proper documentation with our C-Series device. Where do we find it? Well, we're going to go up to the support menu at Cisco.com. Notice support is divided into three columns, the drop-down menu. On the left, product support. In the middle, downloads. And on the right, contacts and support cases. For the documentation, we're interested in product support. And if you've been around my classes for a while, you know that I always like to go to all products. When I choose all products, I have this great tabbed interface. It's actually like a grid-like interface. On the left, we have the initial node we can select. Because I chose all products from that first menu, we're highlighted on the products tab. And then in this middle column, all the different categories of technologies that Cisco is in the business of. What we're interested here for the standalone C-Series would be servers, unified computing. Now on the right, we have the UCS C-Series rack servers. Interestingly enough, notice that's how we can also get to the software. Cisco UCS C-Series rack mount standalone server software. But we're not even talking about that yet. Let's go to the UCS C-Series rack servers because we're interested in documentation here. So we're at the C-Series servers documentation main page here. And let's say I want advice for rack mounting that particular server. I want to make sure I rack mount it properly. And let's say I also want to make sure I initially cable it properly. Probably two pretty good ideas to start life with your C-Series. Notice there's install and upgrade guides. We have all of our models here. Maybe we have a C200M2. So I find the UCS C200 installation and service guide. Inside this guide, we have some very important chapters. Notice one of them we're not really interested in in this micro nugget. It's installation for UCS integration. Obviously, this link is going to be critical if we do want to have the C-Series device managed in the UCS umbrella. But my point was maybe we want guidance on installation. So here's unpacking and inspecting the server. Here's preparing for installation, installing the server into a rack, initial server setup, which would be connecting and powering on and our NIC modes and NIC redundancy settings, system BIOS and Cisco integrated management controller firmware. So information about updating that and manipulating that to do things like password recovery and things of that nature. So very, very important do documentation on that C-Series rack mount server and that's how we're going to find it. Now, when you're looking for software, 
we have a key distinction when we're looking for software, and that is, of course, that we are dealing with the standalone configuration of our C-Series. That software is going to be very different from the options that we have when we are going to manage our C-Series in the umbrella of UCS. So if you go to the support uh, menu once again, the easiest way to find the software, the most common sense, would be downloads. So we have downloads in the middle column. We can go to all downloads. And now we're presented with our similar interface that we love so much. And sure enough, in the middle column is servers unified computing. Over on the right-hand side is a link for our Cisco UCS C-Series rack mount UCS managed server software. Oh, not the one we want. We are looking for this one, the Cisco UCS C-Series rack mount standalone server software. We'll find our particular model, for instance, the C200M2 rack mount server, and we will be brought to a page where we can download all of the latest software for this particular UCS system component. Notice adapter firmwares, drivers, uh, server configuration utilities, even a overall host upgrade utility under server firmware. Look at this. Here we have the UCS host upgrade utility. This will upgrade the firmware on the BIOS, on the LAN on motherboard adapters. It will upgrade the firmware for the Cisco integrated management controller itself. And notice we can see, let me grab my pen, we can see here that this is version 1.4.3 of the firmware for those ingredients that I mentioned. So this is the UCS system, C200 model, host upgrade utility, and we're dealing with 1.4.3. Notice it's an ISO image, so we can go ahead and mount this particular ISO using the virtual media in our keyboard, video, and mouse, uh, remote keyboard, video, and mouse feature, and we can easily install these upgrades into our rack-mounted C-Series device. So, sometimes one of the trickiest things can be finding the documentation and the software that we have for a particular UCS device in a particular configuration. I think that you'll be all set now, won't you? Even if you were looking for something involving your B series, right? You're going to know how to do it. For documentation, once again, just go to Support All Products and you'll be brought to this navigational interface. For downloads, we're going to go support all downloads, and you'll navigate using this very handy interface for finding exactly what you're looking for. Well, I hope this micro nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.